again, we have few assumptions. Assumptions are acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second per second. But for you and for me, because we are learning the material, we'll keep it at 10, negative 10 meters per second per second. We assume that the acceleration is uniform. That means we are very, that means we are assuming that we are very close to the surface of the earth. And the object is kicked vertically up at 20 meters per second. So speed at point A is 20 meters per second. Velocity at point A is positive 20 meters per second because we define positive y as vertically up. It doesn't matter where we are, point A, point B, point C, point D, point E, the pull of the earth is always vertically down. So the acceleration is actually along negative y. From A to B, velocity is positive. From B to C, velocity is positive. At point C, velocity is zero. At point D, velocity is negative because it is on its way down. And point E, velocity is again negative. So what is question number 11? If velocity and acceleration vectors are in opposite directions, if velocity and acceleration vectors are in opposite directions, can we then conclude that the object is slowing down? Yes or no? B, A, S, B, no. If velocity and acceleration, so let's look at from A to B. A to B, acceleration is down. Velocity is vertically up. So what happens to the object? It slows down. From B to C, velocity is vertically up. Acceleration due to gravity is along negative y. Acceleration and velocity vectors are in opposite directions. It slows. At point C, velocity is zero. Acceleration is along negative y. From C to D, velocity is along negative y. Acceleration is also along negative y. Both are pointing down. So what happens to the object? It increases the speed. From point D to point D, velocity is vertically down, it is coming down. Acceleration due to gravity is also along negative y. So velocity and acceleration are in the same directions. So what happens? The object increases its speed. Point A is 20, at point B it is 10, at point C it is zero, at point D, it is negative 10, velocity is negative 10, at point D e, velocity is negative 20 meters per second. So answer is yes. The object slows down if velocity and acceleration vectors are in the opposite directions. Question number 12, if velocity and acceleration vectors are in the same direction, can we then conclude that the object is speeding up? From D to E, velocity is along negative y, acceleration due to gravity is along negative y, both are in the same direction, so it speeds up. Answer is yes. Question number 13, are velocity and acceleration, acceleration vectors in the same direction from C to D? Yes, answer is yes, yay. Yeah. 